This is my clothing line, Al Matty. The time of the end is on my arm. Allah revealed to me that I'm most closest to him. When he told me the end, I have the date. I am the dates your prophet loved. I am the mountains, the hood apostle, Octane. Lamonte. The mountains your prophet love. My dad is Monty. My name agrees with the name of the prophet. I am the father of all the prophets. I am the father of prophet Isa. I am the father of the prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon them. Check out my clothing line. Come and see what I got. Okay. Got the house of David. I got the people. All right. Support the truth. Okay. It goes, it goes down. down. This is how Allah blesses me. He even got my initials on the back. My first company trial. It goes down. All praises is due to Allah. He even got my initials on the back. It goes down. All praises to Allah on this early morning seeking him. I am going to show the world Allah is the one and only true God right here on this short broadcast. If you will be so kind to share. Now let's get started. Here we have Riston. It goes a man down. by the name of Riston Alamo, which is really my name. There is no way for me to glorify anyone other than myself and to worship and associate. Allah with no partner. You see, there's no way for me to glorify you, 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 you. Or even the guy who has my name, Riston. I can't. Why? Because he has my ID. All these men are pictures of me. Okay, you get it? All right? I can't glorify him. And if you listen to me, you can get tricked and you can think I'm glorifying Riston, but really I'm glorifying the real Riston, and the real Riston is Al Mahdi. Okay? This is my kingdom. Okay? Now, when you look at the black Kaaba stone on the corner, on the chief side, of the Kaaba as the prophet Isa, some call him Jesus prophesied in Matthew 21 42 when he said the stone which the builders rejected the same has become the chief corner stone this is the Lord's doings and it is marvelous in our eyes so then well, then we have um, all praises due to Allah. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. So then we have Mr. Riston Allah Amo. He has a dream about me in a classroom teaching with a whiteboard. He tells me this last week, October the 9th, I had a board ordered and shipped and delivered. October the 9th, they came. And I got videos online of me having a whiteboard before he talked about this dream. 
he had of me doing strange interpretations on a whiteboard. Now, really, his name is Ristin Ala Amo, but really, he don't know. <laughs> Many of you don't know. Those are one of my names because I have the time of the end on my wrist, which is going to be the topic. And the number is 34. And I'm a proof to the world that Allah is the one who gave me this. All right. All right. So I told Riston, add Allah. What does Allah equal to? Room 112, where all the players dwell. You know that. <laughs> Notorious Biggie Small said that. He said, Room 112, where all the players dwell. <laughs> Notorious B.A.G. And then another 12 and 8, and we have 34. Now, I've been preaching the world is going to end since September 17th. Since 7 September the 17th, I've been preaching the world is going to end. Now, I knew September the 16th. Okay? I just only told my family. Not by phone or nothing. I told them in person. All right? So the topic is about the end. Allah equals the end. And I was preaching that. Knowing that. The 16th. This guy tells me last week. About this dream. And we broke down how you spell white. Because some of y'all might not connect. What the white board really is going into. But we about to right now. We're going to do a math equation on here. Boom. I'm going to break this down for you. Let's make it bigger. Oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. This is how you do... Um, I call it, this is numerology. Because this is all in order with the number of the alphabet. For instance, five is E because five is the fifth letter of the alphabet. Going on. Now, 20 goes into a number of things. It's a metaphor. Twin, 20, twin, 20. Twin is inside 20. And that's going into the twin towers that fell when? In September, same month. Rich homie Kwan died. El Matty died September the 16th, 2034, along with the last witness. Okay? And it goes down just like the twin towers, both of them at the same time. All right. Let's get a picture of that. You type in Twin Towers, it ain't going to show them burned. There we go. We want that. Yeah, it goes down like that. That's a picture of the last two witnesses. Okay? Which is equivalent with what happened a century ago. Now, on some of my broadcasts, I will mix up decade 
with century, but a century is a hundred years. A decade is just 10 years. But even if I say decade, that's 10 years, you can still get two zeros out of that zero in the 10. Okay, people know what I'm talking about. And this is what happened a century ago. Bonnie and Clyde died one century ago. The last two witnesses is seen in Bonnie and Clyde. Okay, because we have the eraser. Okay, we like bounty hunters, actually. Okay, um, this is what happened a century ago. All right. And you know what was amazing? That was my first wife's birthday. All right. She was in, she was a picture of Joan of Arc. She, it wasn't her. It wasn't her. Okay. People are pictures of people. There's always a person who is a picture of another person. This is the reason why in the Bible, it tells us that God would raise up a prophet like Moses. Why did he say that? There was no need to say that. He could have just said, I'm going to raise up a prophet and he is going to be blah, 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 blah. No, he said he's going to be like something because that's the model. That's how you have to study. There's nothing new. History repeats itself over and over again. This is seen in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and 9. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay? Okay? All these things have been of old. Well, how can you say anything is new? What happened in 1934 with the Bonnie and Clyde dying? Okay? I'm going to tell you something. They wasn't dying. They actually got killed. I didn't say dying because it's by Allah's leave. Because he protected me for nine years. Okay, they were killed. But it goes down just like they were killed. It goes down with the last two witnesses. Let's get that in the Bible for people. I, I assume... I assume people read the Bible sometimes, but it's best to see it. See, 11. I just connected 9-11. The most serious numbers we have in the world is 9-11. Not only that, for emergency purposes. Why? Because it's a picture of the end. Why? Because there's two people walking around with a nine-year clock. And they are protected for nine years. And they will be killed. And they will be the first to resurrect. Because these two are one. Male and female. Al, Matty, Lamonte, Clay. Die Quant. Me. It's me who speak with you. Who's Al Matty? Okay. The last witness is of Mexico. She ain't woke up yet. I woke up first. We have the perfect order. There'll be no more Mary worship. There'll be no more um, um, Jesus worship. There'll be no other worship but the worship of Allah because Al Mahdi is here. The stone, the mountain has fell from heaven to judge the lie of Christianity and to take back all that glory I put upon my son and to put upon his daddy and his mama, the last witness. So let's go to the death. Verse 
verse 7, And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. See? They're going to be killed. They're going to be killed. So you see this right here with your own eyes. The last two witnesses are going to be killed. Just like I just showed you, Bonnie and Clyde were killed. This is going to happen September. Okay? Just like 9-11, it goes down. Okay? Now let's go back to our notepad. This white boy had a dream of me teaching. Just like the picture I showed you of Denzel. <laughs> I like this picture. He had a dream of me t teaching, which is something I've been doing for years. I'm the best storyteller <laughs> because I'm the boss. Bosses have the best storyteller. All right. The bosses have the best story or the best storytellers because the bosses is the ones who actually sends the messengers and who sends the prophets. Okay. But here we have Mr. Cassius Clay, Mr. Noah. I only know what Allah tells me. Mr. Denzel Washington, D.C. is 34. Four is the end. It goes down, y'all. All right? He had a dream. I'm just putting up a, a little picture. Okay? Just putting a picture to it. He had a dream of me teaching. And people were opposing me. And asking me questions. But I would let him get through. And that sounds like me. He had this dream last week. I bought the board three weeks ago. Okay? His last name is Allah. You don't need a H at the end for it to sound like Allah. That's why in the Bible it says, Allah's. Oh, Allah's. Like if a destruction took place. <laughs> Let's look up the definition of Allah's in the Bible dictionary. You know, people got all type of apps on their phone and don't have one Bible dictionary. Allah's. Let's look at Allah's. Grief, pity. Follow by day while Allah's the day of like expressing an unhappy Time! What's going on? Did y'all see that? Did, can y'all read? Can you read? Allah's equals 34. I'm telling you 34 is the end. Allah's is in the Bible. This is a term that's used in the Bible. And guess what it means? It means expressing grief, sorrow, pity, okay, or apprehension, apprehension rather, of evil, sometimes followed by day or while Allah's the day. Now let's go to another um, dictionary. Let's look at it. Yep. Used to express unhappiness, pity, or concern. Let me tell you something. If you marry... You better get all the sex you can get. We got nine years. You better enjoy your family. You better enjoy your kids. You better live life in a way where you got about five to ten people that can say you a good person. Because no prayers is going up right now because the stone that the Muslims was praying to is now down here. And I've been down here since 1982. And that's why the destruction is happening over there. And Allah's help is not near. I'm over here. Okay. And that is the real truth. So 
That is a warning from a real messenger. All these people on YouTube is wasting time, except those who are, um, um, what they're doing blindly, rather. They're wasting time by what they're saying, all these people out here teaching. But they are a picture of me, and they are sh confirming what I'm saying right now, blindly. And we'll, we'll show that. Okay. That's what you call unplugging people. I've had people in my life that was trying to show me I was Al Maddie the moment I told them I was. Okay. There's a whole nother story. Okay. So that's what you call unplugging people. Some people, you, you know, <laughs> they ain't ready to be unplugged. Some people had to be unplugged in order to help me be how many. Okay. So here, we, that's what we know what the word Allah's mean. Now let's go back to the path. So this guy by the name of Ristin Alamo. All right. Pictures of us is seen in movies like this. Let's look at it real quick. Yeah, movies like this. All right, why is this white guy playing the background? Notice Denzel is always center stage, okay? But the white boy is playing the background. Why? Because this guy has seen the end. That's why he has the glasses on. He can see. This is a picture of my friend, Briston. He has the glasses on. Why? Because he can see. And then, that's a picture of me, myself. And if you know me, people who know me, I always wear wake caps. I wave, I wear, <laughs> I wear rather wave caps all the time, okay? I got on, I got on one right now, all right? Training is going into the end because look what it says, day, all right? And I have to train him. He can't teach me nothing. He can't. There's nothing he can teach me, all right? Now, I can learn from, you know, daily things in life, okay, on, you know, physical things, but I'm talking about on spiritual matters, no, all right? Not to say that I can't learn something from you on a natural plane, earthly, yes, okay, all right? I wouldn't even have a job if that wasn't true. <laughs> I get trained all day on physical things from anybody. But on spiritual matters, that's another level. All right, so the last word day is going into my last name because I'm going to show you how you can spell my last name, Clay. I am the last day. I am the ultimate Muhammad. When the Quran says believe in Allah in the last day, this is what it means. Believe in me. So let's get. Here you go. This is my name. Ali. Cassius Clay. That's my last name. Notice I said my last name. So when I'm telling you I'm the last day, this is what I mean. You take a C, push it close to the boom, 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 boom. I'm the last day. I'm the last day. Okay? I am the last day. That's all I am. The Quran says, believe in Allah in the last day. And I'm going to show you that. Watch. Uh, keep my opacity down. I want my thickness right though. Let's get my thickness like right there. And let's do that again. See, that's better, Clay. Boom. That 
nice to see. Boom. I am the last day. Now let's get that in the Quran. Whoever believes in Allah in the last day should serve his guests generously. And whoever believes in Allah. So we see this. Okay? We see this. Whoever believes in Allah in the last day. Let him remain quiet, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Let me tell you something. If you ain't got nothing good to say, you better keep your mouth closed because the man who is on the cover of the Quran is here. I did not know none of this stuff at all. I've always avoided the Quran my whole life, okay? Okay, even though my name was on the cover. I've been in the Christian book 20 years. But now in these last two years, I've been in the Quran. And I've read it multiple times, you know, like in the past, you know, like, but you know, that don't really count if you ain't, if you ain't studying it on a daily basis, you reading it eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago. Nah, we talking about you reading it eating and then digesting it on a day-to-day -day basis. I've been doing that now for a fact about a year playing the audio of Quran, listening to it, going through the Hadiths, all right? I went through the Quran already this year two times. I'm going back through it a third time right now. I'm starting already over. I'm in book number two already. And I'm in 50. No, I just made it to like, I'm in the, I'm close to 60 in the Hey Deeps. I'm going through the Hey Deeps as well, okay? For the first time in my life, 2024, okay? Learning about all this stuff. Allah wanted me to get that Bible in me first. That's why he gave me the bumblebee vest. Because I'm the Bilal. I am the Denzel. With the book that's in Braille. I am the Denzel with the book that's in Braille. And I have the stripes on my arm. I'm the reason why they got the stripes on the flag. Me and Riston. Okay. I'm the reason why they got the stripes on the flag. Why I got the stripes? Because I'm here to judge. Okay, why I got the stripes? Because I paid the price. Why I got the stripes? Because I'm here to decode the Bible. Why I got the stripes? Okay, I'm here to decode the Bible. And I just showed you that, all right? Uh, Allah revealed to me that Riston was a picture of me and really he has my name. That's why it's impossible for me to glorify him. Glorify him. If I glorify him, if I talk about him too much and give him too much accolade, it bounces back and it goes right to me. That's why it's set up like that for me. I have the eraser. Everybody has my name on them. Everybody has my ID. So it's impossible for me to worship any one of y'all because y'all are all me. That's how he set it up for me. There's no way for me to worship anyone but Allah because y'all all a picture of me and y'all all are me, okay? <laughs> That's how he set it up for me. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's impossible for me to talk too much about Riston because Riston is a picture of me. And it's the same thing with Jesus. Everything he was doing, he was glorifying his father. Everything he said, he glorified his father. All right? It's impossible for me to glorify you because you are a picture of me. All right? So let's go back to this notepad. 
Amazingly, this guy is a Christian trying to tell me about Jesus when his last name, you can spell Allah in it. I'm a worshiper of Allah, having studied the Bible 20 plus years. I know the ins and outs. Okay. He's dreaming about a whiteboard. He's a white boy. <laughs> and keep in mind, white goes into wit, too. So goes into witness. You know, sometimes we need that extra push. And I believe wristing is like a push to help people believe. Because nobody wants to believe in a movement when one person is by itself. But when the power comes out and the money comes out, of course, people will show up. That's just how life is. But I believe he was like that push to help people see. And you're going to see more signs of 2034, such as you've seen with this guy right here. Mr. Fernando Valenzuela, who told us all by this guy right here, who died October 22nd. He died October 22nd. All right. And he retired his jersey. Um, 2023, I believe in August. I believe in August, he retired his jersey. And he told us all by how I was preaching the world was going to end in 2034 before he died. Three weeks before he died, I was preaching that. And he's gone. Out of all the numbers... People gathered with their beers at the bar and don't even realize that was a picture. Fernando, Mr. Valentine, he's the reason why. I'm actually Mr. Valentine because all the holiday holidays are pictures of me and the last witness, okay? All right? But this guy right here, when I get put in power, it's going to be Mr. Valentine, Mr. Valentine. And this is Mr. Fernando Valenzuela. All right. His life was used as a sign of the end. He was blind. That's why he had the glasses on. He doesn't know that he was a picture of the end. But yes, his jersey is out. Okay, he's a picture of the last day. Three plus four, three plus four is seven. Okay, that's the last day. That's me. Three plus twelve is what? Three plus four. I'm sorry. I'm three. Three times four. It's early, y'all. I'm sorry. Three times four is what? It's twelve. That's me and the last witness. That's judgment. That equals judgment. Okay, the last day, 2034. He's out of there. All right. So this brother's seen the end. All right. That is the job of the last two witnesses. We just tell people it's over in 2034. We like Noah, we like Lot. Okay, that's exactly what we are like. Better yet, we're like Joseph. We're here to save the world. Okay, we're telling you. You got nine years left, baby. You have 24 hours to live. Just think, what would you do? <laughs> what would you, I ain't gonna say the rest. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got nine years to live. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And little are you thankful. Little are you thankful. Little are you thankful, okay? Communicate financially if you think. Okay, communicate financially if you thankful. All right, you got some awareness of the end. Why these people going crazy with all these damn water bottles and saving up food and all this stuff. And, you know, you going super, super, super chaotic with that. I'm not saying don't be safe, but at the same time, you better pay attention to the prophecy. 
that's coming out right now. Okay. Our law told me September 16th, 2034 is the end. Okay, he just talks to me. He didn't give me no hey, D. He didn't even tell me about the skinny black boy with the thin legs taking apart the Kaaba. Okay, he just told me on my bed two months ago where he want me to put the Kaaba. Exactly. He didn't even tell me about the hey, D. Okay. He didn't even talk to me about the hey, D. <laughs> he does that to me all the time. He'll tell me stuff and then I'm finding that the most powerful scripture of the end in the Quran is in the 34th book, Saba, Sheba. I like to say, say bye-bye. And also in Isaiah 34, I didn't know none of those things. Allah knows he can tell me something and then I'll look it up. I'm going to look it up. But yeah, he didn't even tell me about the skinny black boy taking apart the copper. But he did turn me on to Bilal. He did put me on to Bilal. That was the first evidence of me being al Mahdi was Bilal. But he didn't tell me about him taking apart the Kaaba. <laughs> All right. So, as y'all can see, I'm the last day. You better believe in Allah in the last day. The book of Islam, which we call the Quran, was borrowed to a servant by the Arabian prophet we love. The Prophet Muhammad, he did not own it. That's why he didn't put his face on it. That's why he was not the father. That's why he was not the supervisor. He was told all these things by Allah. He's also not the poet. His name is not on the moon. Ali name is on the moon. The Arabian's name is not on the moon. My name is on the moon. Why? Because the Ali's Arabic name is a music note. I'm the David here to bring the music back, the dancing back, all those things that were prohibited in the Quran. I am the Q. I'm John Q. I have the last call for alcohol. I have the eraser. I'm here to bring world peace. After we iron out some wrinkles, I'm here. Got a few things to iron out, man. And we can have some world peace. All right? I'm protected for nine years with the last witness. So... Alamo, it goes into this. goes into this. Here it is. Omni. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Omnipotent. That's what we want. That's the name of the Father. The Father is both this, this, This This He's all of this And sometimes some people spell it with just one L You know like that Okay Allah shows me all these things He shows me my names I have names Kristen has one of my names The sign of the end is on my wrist. I'm the one who believes in Allah, not wristing. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing. This is the white boy that is seen in the pictures we was looking at, man. This dude, this dude is see right here. This is your boy. He's also seen right here. You know, and I'll get back with him. Maybe that might be another one that's gonna step up okay 
Hopefully, hopefully there's another one going to step up. See, all the money coming my way. Okay, Riston better quit playing, man. And and um, you're going to hurt some people's feelings. You're going to hurt some people's feelings. But the truth is the truth, you know? The truth is the truth, you know? You would have never knew. You would have believed in Allah, the one and only true God. I never knew I would believe in Allah, the one and only true God. I got 20 years of Christianity under my belt. So trust me, I know it's it's dead. It's going to judgment. It's going to judgment. It's a show. It's going to judgment. And all the Muslims who do not receive al Mahdi is going to judgment. And all the Israelis who don't receive al Mahdi is going to judgment. And all the Hindus who don't receive al Mahdi is going to judgment. And all of the Indians who don't receive al Mahdi is going into judgment. And all of the Africans who do not receive al Mahdi is going into judgment. All of the nations who do not receive Al Mahdi is going into judgment. And all those who touch me, if they have touched me in sincerity, they'll be okay. And if they haven't, they're going to hell. They're going to hell. So, I mean, that pretty much wraps it up. I got to get ready to go up into this uh, mountain and work. I put it down. Put it down. Give him praises to Allah. All right. Don't worry about that made, made damn mall because that was in the video I did with a white boy by the name of J Payne. Okay. All the way up in Indiana. Why? Because I'm Al Maddie. <laughs> Years ago, 2013, when my first son was born, okay? And I believe that's exactly what's going on right here in the spiritual realm with Mr. Riston, okay? Uh, Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters who will be in the real truth.